Jeff Caron has announced he is going to return to Strongman at the Magnus Fur Magnuson Classic later this year. Auntie Liz, JF, we had him on the channel uh, just before World's Strongest Man. He said he wants to get back into Strongman. Was talking about potentially doing the Masters at the end of the year. Much to your dismay. <laughs> <laughs> I'm kind of happy and also devastated that you're going to compete in that as well. But <laughs> it'll be fun. Yeah. But he has, or it's been officially announced that his comeback show will be the Magnus Ver Magnuson Classic. I think Magnus must be excited for this. He must be absolutely thrilled to have such a great, first off, such a great competitor, but then for his show to be used as the comeback show. It's going to bring more eyes to that competition, which is great for everyone involved there. And exciting for us Strongman fans who can't wait to see JF back. We all love JF. I mean, most people on our channel tend to love JF. Everyone There's not many JF. people that don't like JF. There's something I'd be suspicious of a person who did not like <laughs> JF. <laughs> so the interesting thing is, how is he going to be coming back to competition? Because that was a, it was a career-ending injury that he went through mm. at the Arnold's. Um, you know, he probably at the time thought he'd never compete again. And the fact that he's coming back, he feels good in training. I mean, I spoke to him recently, he said he's deadlifting 400 kilos, which is, is mental. But yeah. lifting in the gym and then coming back to competition is, is very different still. So we'll have to see how the, the kind of the, the mental scars are affected. But I am excited to see JF, regardless of how he ends up doing. I think as a strongman fan, we all kind of want to see him back competing. And I think the Magnus Ver Magnuson Classic is a good one to come back to. There's less yeah. pressure. Yeah. It's that kind of rustic, rural kind of type of competition competition it's yes. not like the 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 kind of like glitz and glam, glitz and glam yeah. of like the the giants live shows or no. you kind of got all those cameras on you it's a bit more old school in terms of yeah. strongman and i think it'd be cool to see jf in that environment and that type of competition jf is an old school kind of guy isn't he and remarkably this will actually be his first time competing in iceland which is hard to believe because he's such a well-traveled he's done so many competitions as well so yeah. you think of him being or this being his first contest in iceland that yeah. is an interesting one but well he's He's done 72 international competitions and he's won 10 of them so that's very good he really is a very good strongman and that's a variety of comps that he's won a uh, festival de hummus i never know how to say it he's won that twice and that's a competition held in canada but it has some really really good guys Big names there. but he's won champions league shows he won he's, an arnold africa yeah arnold's africa he's been on the podium at world's strongest man mm. um just an incredible competitor someone that kind of knows how to perform knows how to adapt which is really important in terms of being able to use different kit, compete in different environments. JF has done it all in the sport and the fact that he wants to come back and still, he mentioned he wants to get to World's Strongest Man. Again. I was going to say, speaking of Worlds, he said he would like to do another Worlds. Now, he has competed there 11 times so far and he's made the final nine times, which is so impressive. And like you said, third place he was in 2020. I'd be excited to see like a Canadian team put together. Yes. You know, we've got the, the strongest nation competition yeah. with the UK versus the USA. Mm. Let's see like a Canadian team. You could have Mitch Hooper, Maxime, JF Caron. Mm. Gabriel Rayom. Gabriel Rayom. Yeah. Others as well. They've got some then brilliant some women. women there. Yeah. yeah. That would be a hell of a team to put together. Yeah, it would. So for any fans that are brand new fans, I guess, to the sport, or just for JF fans who want to reminisce about how strong he really is, just another couple of reminders about some of his achievements. Nine times Canada's strongest man. Nine times. Yeah, to win your national title that many times. Just that consistency over such a long period of time. Exactly. Incredible. And some of his competition PBs are absolutely insane. So starting with the deadlift, JF is known as one of the deadlifting gods, isn't he? So his competition PB on a standard height but elephant bar deadlift at the Arnold's in 2018 was 463 kilos. Now, if you compare that to what we saw this year, and, you know, some incredible lifts this year at the Arnold's, but yeah, that he'd have won. won. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. he would have won. So, yeah, his deadlifting has is, is always been incredible. I mean, you know, how many deadlift events has he won in competition? So one of my favourite deadlift performances from JF was in the 2020 Shaw Classic. The first one when it was basically held in Brian gym wasn't it with two fans who won a competition but obviously this was a covid comp and jf pulled 545 kilos it was, it was the battle with him and it's jerry pritchard jerry. Oh, that man. was unbelievable brilliant he also has a 195 kilo log which for someone who is not renowned for being the strongest overhead that's still pretty it's, strong, it's an event he's really progressed on over the years 
unfortunately, it's the event that's put him back and, you know, he's injured him. So yeah. how he comes back to those type of events is more interesting for me. I think we'll see great deadlifts from Jeff still. Of course. But when it comes to that explosive power for pressing overhead, that could be the question mark. And I think it's going to take time to see what he does on those. I'm excited to see him compete. I know you are as well. I think the Icelandic fans will be happy to see him. Yeah, absolutely. But I'm not done with facts oh, and you've stats. You've got more yeah. stats. Well, well, one more, because it's, you know, noteworthy. And maybe a bit of a catalyst towards the injury that he suffered. A 438 kilo max squat at the um, Arnold Strongman Classic. And let's year. remember watching that squat, he made it look easy. It looked, yeah, it was smooth. And I, I don't even know that necessarily the squat was the issue, but maybe as we get older, that explosive power can have... Kind of, Having done that, then going on to the log afterwards, potentially. Yeah. There's so many that. factors, yeah, you know. Of course. But he's, you know, he's done a lot of competition. There is a lot of mileage on that body. And that and it's, <laughs> you know, it is tough. But yeah, I think if he's smart, he kind of... You know, I don't expect to see JF coming back to the level that he was at. It would be hard, but, at his age as well. But he could get sort of to within 90, 95%, which if he's smart, holds back just a little where he needs to, he's got that experience of knowing when he can push and when he can hold back, I think, especially for a competition like this. Yeah. It's not good. The Arnold is different. The Arnold, you've got 10 of the absolute best in the world, and there's no ability to take your foot off the gas. You've got to push, and otherwise you're just going to get beat mm -hmm. whereas in this level competition he'll be able to think okay i don't need to be hitting pbs on the overhead yeah. i can kind of come in there go at 80 90 try and pick up a few points i can push harder on this event i can kind of hold back on that event and get that confidence and see how his body responds and then look at planning to what he wants to do moving forward from that and you know what could be really exciting the world's strongest master this year could potentially have you jf rauno zadrunas dimitar jerry pritchett it's like an old school comp from 10 years ago. How <laughs> it exciting could be, is that? It could be a very, very good comp. I mean, potentially you could have Brian Shaw. I don't think he's going to turn up. I don't think he will. Yeah. You hope he doesn't. <laughs> Yeah, maybe um, Travis Altmaier might look at doing it. Oh, there's, really? Yeah, there's, wow. there's a number of big names. Like so. a retro competition. I love it. I think it's great. Yeah. To, especially if you're a fan of the kind of, you know, the, that, that kind of era. Yeah. All right, we're not quite as good as these younger guys now, but we can still put on a show. Yeah, and you're only competing against each other, so no yeah. one will any different. <laughs> So we do not have a confirmed date for the Magnus Ver Magnuson Classic yet, but we do know that it's due to be in autumn this year. And in previous years, it's been streamed for free on the Rogue Fitness YouTube channel, so everyone can watch along too. But it's like a two or three day competition, isn't it? Yeah, it goes on for a few days, lots of events, kind mm -hmm. of old school type of competition, lots of the, the natural environment used, yeah. uh, being in Iceland, see stones, um, you know, carries, just nasty weather to contend with as well. We've seen that yeah. in the past. So. Be a bit nicer this year though they're doing it slightly earlier, earlier it looks like Hopefully. yeah <laughs> yeah but lots to contend with uh obviously maxime uh boudreau was the winner of the first one mm. rongo keen won last year yeah gonna be interesting to see the full lineup and who takes the win this year but exciting news to see jf Caron back in strongman action we can't wait to see how he does comment below let us know your thoughts are you guys excited to see jf back competing and don't forget to like share and subscribe to the channel and we'll catch you guys next time Jean-Francois. <laughs> Calm down. Are you jealous when I say Jean-Francois? <laughs> I'm a little. He's already better than me. He's... Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Got to look at our head-to-head -head now. Jesus. Oh dear. Jesus. He beat you nine times. You only beat him three times. Yeah. He's probably got one of the best records against me. <laughs> he probably has. Yeah. Him and Brian Shaw. All right, let's not... <laughs> Sorry. That's a drill. Mesodrinus is, is, yeah. Mesodrinus <laughs> is different. Yeah, it's a, yeah, because he's a. <laughs> and Brian's different. Yeah, as well. of course. Yeah. Jeff is more in my level. I think. He's more yeah. in your league. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Although clearly not. Well, we thought. <laughs> the, the big question is going to be how is he going to come back? Because that was a cat catastrophic. <laughs> <laughs> catastrophic. That's the one. <laughs>